Hello world, I'm the cop. Welcome once again to Renaud Explorers International Society where we're still mostly trying to show off uh, these new people from the Emperor's Challenge DLC. So this time we're taking Pylin as our team leader and uh, because she is kind of aggressive and friendly, we're gonna take the people who have found to be aggressive and friendly. So we're taking Victor here. Victor we're taking mostly because of his peace treaty. Because with Pylin, Pylin having uh, the assassinate thing yeah, the assassination. We really just want to be able to move from uh, aggressive to friendly so that we can do her assassination. And then, you know, going from friendly to aggressive is pretty easy because you just need to attack once. And to the easiest way to go from aggressive to friendly is by having a skill that adds additional friendly to the mood. And, well, who else got a skill like that? Well, Hojo here has got a skill like that. He's uh, reaching out. Adds... Uh, Three friendly and removes aggressive or devious. So, we're gonna take Hojo with us as well. So, Pylin, Victor, and Hojo is going to go out at this time. They got a lot of space between them. Usually it seems like the characters are closer to each other than that. So, where are we starting? The Celtic Code. This is it. You just got your Renowned Explorers International Society membership. Pylin wants to make a big entrance and wants to investigate a mystic appearance, a druidic stone circle. Rumor has it that Celtic druids set up a sect here a long time ago. Time for adventure! So, okay. So what was Phalanx Captain Perk? Gain 3% renown from A rank treasures whenever you find a secret on an expedition. So... What that tells me is that we really want to find the Hidden Horde, because I think we get a secret from the Hidden Horde. There's a zero cost move. Okay, we'll go here, here, to that zero cost move, and then see what we saw. Some cowardly sheep are fond of the crew and keep surrounding you. It makes hard to move and you have to do some, so we can engage or oh, Hojo things fast and makes a destruction. Hojo hops over the sheep, runs a little while and turns around. Then Hojo imitates the sound of a hay bale. The sheep come rushing towards Hojo, thinking they'll find food. What a destruction! In the meantime, Hojo and the crew can get away. Right over here. Ooh, treasure. Your crew hears the rambling of another person in the woods. As far as Piling knows, there aren't any villages nearby. Who is this person? The crew quietly goes to take a look. It's a university member. She's startled by your sudden appearance, but impressed by your not explosive membership. I'm looking for antiques or Celtic cultures, but I'm interested in all history. Egyptian, Caribbean, you name it. Maybe I could help you with documentation. What a great idea. She's delighted. I always wanted to help around explorers. I won't let you down. You will make amazing discoveries. I just know it. So you add her papers to your research. Okay, so there's the treasures we want to go there for sure, but here's a zero cost move, so we want to do this for sure as well. The crew is walking through the forest quietly when they hear the bushes rustle. The crew sneaks up to see what's causing all that noise. Uh, get closer. A white stag! What a fascinating sight. Not only is this an invaluable observation, but the stories to come from this will impress the renowned explorers. Okay, uh, we have an encounter over there, but no treasure. Always go for treasure when there's treasure available. Ancient woodlands. What a weird place. The ground is getting increasingly soft and the air starts to smell foul. Weird rocks stand between the crooked trees. Palin thinks you might have reached a pretty special point in this forest. Investigate further. While looking around, Palin notices clues of fossilized remains. The crew is getting excited. Could you maybe find your first fossils right in this swampy place? Maybe conducting some research in the swampy areas will yield a better result. Uh, hmm. No, I don't want to lose supplies, so let's just start excavating the safe areas. You just take the time to start excavating the safe areas for fossils. Normally this would take longer, but the soft ground makes it easier. After mere hours of hard work, the crew finds something. Okay, so we got a Stegosaurus skull. A hardy skull made for battling competi competitors. All science. Oh, we don't have any scientists in the team. No. More research from study or collects and studies. I really feel that this is gonna help, like this would give us some immediate benefits, but this will help us more in the long run. Like that's zero to five research right now, and those research would be 12 to 18. So yeah, we'll take this. It'll help us in the future. Maybe not on this, but yeah, future for sure. That is a good find. A fine treasure to take home. Now that the treasure here is dug up, the crew can concentrate on finding the Druidic Circle again. Oh, well that's 
empty, so this must be the hidden hoard on the first island then. Well done! You found the hidden hoard of this expedition. On every expedition there is a hidden hoard to be found. On this occasion, Spade Smalls from your crew. The crew finds a juicy secret! Right, what's the secret we need to find? Yes. I have no idea what are A rank treasures. Do these treasures like have a rank? I don't see a ranking anywhere. So... Don't know. But okay, let's do the campfire story. A campfire story. We got signed mandate. Renowned pro level diplomat. We got encounters. We got campaigns. We got study. Uh, you know what, since we took the study thing from uh, the treasure, let's just take more studies. Hojo adamantly makes a point to discuss a weird cultural phenomenon you observed earlier today. The crew really just wants to sleep, but a rambling Hojo makes it virtually impossible. In the end, the crew gives in and joins Hojo in the discussion, which turns out to be very interesting. Okay, uh, okay, okay, come on game, give me like supplies here, please. The crew finds an overgrown rock formation with some rare herbs growing on it. However, Pylin recognizes that useful minerals might be in the rock. Pylin is curious to see what more is in there. The crew is now in a dilemma. Hojo wants to save the plants for research. Pylin is giddy to see what is more in the rock, albeit the cost of destroying the herb's habitat. Let's mine the rock. That's the door of the dice. It's decided. Mining it is. Hojo reluctantly agrees and the crew mines the wool rock, destroying the herb's habitat. After a fully mined the rock, the crew finds almost nothing. There are some minerals that can net your profit, but the herbs were probably worth more. Curses! Okay. I was kind of expecting it to give us something negative, but... Should have known that better. The crew traverses an area that looks like it has never been trodden before. Victor finds a weird colorful stone that looks valuable. The crew goes to take a look. Sadly, a closer look at the stone is no gold or gemstone. The crew dismissed the stone as some common pebble. Okay, we got something weird here. Oh, and supplies over there, good. The crew finds ancient Celtic holy grounds. A very interesting find is there isn't much known about ancient Celtic mythology yet. Something worth investigating. Take a look. The site is very interesting. There are ruins with ritual described to honor Cernunnos, uh, the horned god. Uh, those who fail to perform the ritual properly will be cursed with bad luck, the ruins said. You learn a lot from observing, but Victor thinks you might learn even more by performing the ritual. So could we could get two studies or three studies? Mm, I don't want to lose the result. No, we're just going to take this two, two studies. You don't need to perform a silly ritual. You have scientific observation. Once the crew is done researching, Pilin tells everyone to pack up their bags and move onward. So we'll go here for the supplies. Nice! You found a grove full of edible berries, vegetables, and clean water. This will allow to restock some of your supplies. So, three. So, if we go one, two, and three. Okay, that's probably what we're gonna have to do. You hear some rumbling in the bushes again. Hojo gets up closer to inspect it. It's the white stag again! As soon as it spots you, it flees at top speed. Pylin wonders whether you should follow the white stag or just collect samples and make up an impressive story. One study, one campaign. Lost minus two supplies. Okay, so we're not gonna roll. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna gamble on supplies here right now, so we're just gonna collect samples and make up a story. That stag is gone. You'll have to do with stories and some, uh, interesting droppings. Victor suggested you tell everyone you had an epic battle with the white stag, but Pylin is skeptical whether people would believe it. Okay, over here... There is another weird colorful stone. It looks as worthless as the other one, but the crew is starting to think there's something up with this stone. Uh, okay, so if we get a negative, we get minus armor. Which one of you guys is better armor? You have 21, you have 27, but uh, Hojo has some grit, so we'll roll with Hojo. And most likely it's not going to succeed. Nope. Hojo takes another hard look at the weird storm, but can possibly find anything noteworthy about it. The crew accepts Hojo's analysis and continues exploring. Hojo can't stop wondering about the stone though, and is a little distracted. But and off to the end we go. The druidic circle must be somewhere around. Once you get there, this expedition will come to an end. You can come back to this place and you wish to continue later. Are you ready to go? Onwards! Did we have a single encounter? Like, did we battle at all? I don't think we battled at all. Huh. The crew vig vigorously searches through the dense forest. It doesn't take long before you found it. A standing stone circle. The ruined main men here must contain valuable information to study. It will surely skyrocket your reputation and run explosion. However, you hear familiar laughter. <laughs> Behind you stands the French explorer Rivelo, who is considered to be the most promising of the renowned explorers. He got here just before you did. Thank you, amateur. Under Rule 24B of the Explorer Mandate, fellow explorers should help each other out. And I really need to take the main men here to impress the lady. Explain all the hard work you had to do to get here. Rivelo looks at you as if he really, really cares, and continues. 
Oh wow, this is most unfortunate. Maybe you should talk about this with my most intelligent and diplomatic scientist, Lady Cassandra Shafiq. I'm sure she'll help out all your problems while I take the man here. Hey, wait a minute. Before Palin can stop Rivello, his screw scientist Cassandra starts for Hello, fellow renowned explorers. I heard you have many problems, no? Let me help you, yes? She's not letting you pass! Okay, so we gotta do this friendly. Uh, which... Well, I mean, we're half friendly, so we can do this. Okay, you're easily excited. Do we have... Okay, we you excite, you encourage. Mm, can we just... Yes, we can just get rid of you guys. So... What I think we're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna back up over this way first. Yeah, let's put Victor here. Oh, you can still get to us. Mm. Okay, perhaps that's not the best option then. You guys can get to us as well. Because we can... Uh, hmm. Actually, one, two, three. If we had put Hojo here... No, 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 this won't work, this won't work. I'm thinking about trying, because if we want to get rid of three people in one go, we need to get rid of these three. I'd really just like to back up a little bit, force these guys to come this way. You know, I think that's still, even if we can only get rid of two people here, I still think that's a better idea. We'll put Hojo... Oh man, no! Oh, yes, 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 we can, yes, we can. We can put Hojo here, we'll get rid of this guy. And Pylene, what did you, you have Excite, right? Yeah, so we should, should have Excited. Well, let's Excite Victor. Next turn we can maybe Excite Hojo as well. Okay, so this guy is gonna come, it's going, and he's gonna hit either one of these. Oh, Pylene really shouldn't be taking any hits. Oh, no, 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 she should not. Yes, we got a nice trumpet that we can blow afterwards. Oh, I think Cassandra has an AoE attack, so... Yeah, this guy's coming here. Oh, attacking Victor. Okay, that's good. That's who you were supposed to be attacking. Uh, Hojo, what's your speech defense? 10. No one really has any speech defense here right now. Uh, Cassandra, you got 25. Okay, but, 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 let's see. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can deal with you guys here. So if we have Cassandra, oh no, Cassandra, pile in to get rid of this. This guy over here. We'll have... Uh, Hojo, come here and impress this one. Okay, Cassandra, you can get here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, Victor, we'll just put you here so you can heal a bit and hope that Cassandra doesn't attack you. No, she attacks Hojo. Oh, and Hojo is impressed. This is not good. Oh, especially not since... Oh, you fumbled. Nice. Okay, what we gotta do is we gotta impress Cassandra first here, I think. Or should we just get rid of these guys? I mean... Okay, if we run to... No, we can't run there with Hojo. Okay, if we take Victor, we put Victor here and get rid of this guy. Then we'll have Hojo run here and impress... No, we don't actually want to do that just yet, because we're going to be doing this. Let's move pile in here. Uh, this first. Because now she's going to be excited. And excitement gives more speech power. We do not want her to have more speech power, so we're going to impress her now. And, yeah, she'll be back to her regular amount of speech power. And next turn, we can hopefully pile up on her and uh, be... 
Victorious. Huh. Okay, uh, this guy being here is not a good thing. Ah, uh, damn it! This is this is actually a really bad situation right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna back up a little bit. We're going to heal Hojo. We're going to heal him real good. Then we're gonna have him run. Uh, let's say here. Impress this guy out of here. Okay, good. And now I'm pretty sure Cassandra cannot kill any of us next turn, and I'm pretty sure we can take her down next turn if we just concentrate our efforts. Yeah, that was not good. Doesn't really matter. Okay, Victor, you got to move. Let's put you here, actually. Pylin, you're here. Excite her. Okay, nice. And Victor, you can just encourage her, and she's gonna be on our side now. Yes, we're tooting our own horns here. Okay, Cassandra is pleased. Cassandra is very content with you. Oh my, you're quite kind, yes? I'll be rooting for your rice, yes? Please take some research papers we collected. Sorry to have to help you with your problems. She leaves to follow Rivalo, who somehow managed to get away with a whole men here. We get some research, but no men here. Rivalo is gone with the main men here. The most interesting and telling scriptures were on it. Suddenly, a hooded figure appears on the scene. A druid pops out of the forest. Amazing! I saw how you handled the encounter just now. Your friendly solution is admirable. I'm honored that someone like you is looking for our history. Allow me to help with a divination. Please tell me, what is the dream you chase? So, we could be famous, we want to be wealthy, or we want to make... an amazing contributions to sciences and exploring the world. Now, I don't remember what any of these treasures really do, so let's go for sciences because, you know, we got a lot of studies here and I like science. The druid smiles. Ah, science! A noble cause for sure. I suppose the earth is excited to be discovered. Uh, give me a minute. In a trance, the druid lists the crew to a digging spot. The crew finds rare metals and a unique treasure. Amazing! Oh, we got the sea supper. 77.25. Okay, so that must be the... Uh... Yeah, the extra renown. That's not really anything. Okay. Uh, we don't have any naturalists or engineers in our team, and I don't think anyone here even can get naturalist or engineer. Well, you could get engineer, but I don't think we're going to take engineer. Yeah, that was just a couple of studies. No, we're just going to take more, more research from studies. With this last find, your expedition still concludes on a high note. However, it's clear if you want to be the most renowned explorer, you'll have to be in Rivalo. Now it's personal. Back to London. Okay, 127 renown. That's really low amount of renown, actually. A magnificent job. The board of the renowned Explorers International Society is impressed by your exploration skill in the Highlands. For this achievement, term Pinkerton gives you an upgrade to your airship, which will allow you to carry more supplies. Yeah, we know the drill, Pinkerton. Let's go. Yep. Okay, Hojo's got a level up. Do we give him Athlete or do we give him more Quick Thinker? Let's just give him more Quick Thinker. Okay, Research! Yeah, I like to go through this one always, like if you've been <laughs> watching me do any more of these things, you'll know that I always like to go for this one first. Uh, the 60 Research, could we maybe do something with that? Okay, let's just check out the Specialists. Rogue Beguiler Naturalist. Beguiler would help us here. Astonishing storytelling. You get sense of humor, Bobo. We can maybe take that. Uh, when would be level four? Then, well, after, as soon as we level up, so that would actually pretty much give us campaigns. Pretty sure about that. Level two tactician. That would also help us. Quick thinker would help us. Uh. Okay, and what about Madrid? Mmm! Because we're going both friendly and aggressive, so then taking, like, any of these people is basically not the best idea in the world. Because we are not going to be constantly 
one thing. We're gonna be either aggressive or friendly, depending on the situation. So, this would be like half the worth they would usually be. So no, we're not gonna take any of those guys. Instead, yeah, let's just take Bobo to start with. And Pylin will learn Sense of Humor. And how much would we need to get uh, this guy? 200 plus 30, so 230, that's 25 plus 100, 125 plus 30, 155. Uh, could we do that? 51 max. Mm, let's see how much we get. So we still need like a hundred and fifty. We'll need to least. Okay, we need to use all three. I don't think that's a good idea. Instead, let's just uh, take a lobbyist. And uh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna need to buy anything for next thing. So where are we gonna go? Is the question to the Caribbean islands or to Mali Mystery? Do we want to be friendly or do we want to be aggressive? Hmm. I mean, we can be both easily. Which one has... Like, I'm trying to think the kind of enemies we get from those and which would be better. Also checking like our stats here on the defensive side. Their offensive stats are almost... Well, pretty the same for everyone. Uh, so, okay, we're better at... we have more armor than speech defense. The people here are mostly like... a lot of the enemies here are friendly, who do speech attacks. And here they are aggressive to do, you know, aggressive attacks. So yeah, let's go to the Caribbean Islands, but that's gonna be in the next episode, because we're gonna end at this one here. I'm a Kakap, this has been Renowned Explorers International Society. Goodbye world, thanks for watching, see you next time!